Wait, so what I ask you? Oh yeah. I, I was about to tell you what I got shot. Like, I don't even like feel like I got shot though. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like the whole situation how it had happened was like we weren't ducking our shit. I don't fold them. Like that's that's the, the moral of the story. Like we weren't even ducking our shit. No, it was a, like a ricochet or some shit. Motherfucker, it, it ain't fully, fully hit, you know what I'm saying? And really, to be honest, I don't even consider myself as being shot, bro. Because if it ricocheted or something, I mean, it ain't, it ain't intentionally directly hit you, you know what I'm saying? It bounced off some shit and it bounced off to hit me, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was fluky. Where'd you get shot at? I got shot, like, in my leg. I got shot in my leg one time. Damn. Hey, that shit don't even... That's why I say I don't even consider myself being a shot. That shit crazy. <laughs> Did you know right away you were shot? Or like you, you like your adrenaline, like you didn't realize it like a little later on? Shit, it was like I knew I was shot, but it was like getting me out, I'm like, what the fuck going on, bro? Like, the fuck? Yeah, yeah, that shit that shit weird, bro. <laughs> so I I was looking at like old Instagram pictures and you had dreads at one point. What made you cut your dreads off? Oh shit, you know, uh, like now when you go to when you go to the joint in Illinois, you know, you go to Stateville, and then once you get the sense of your joint, they whack and shit, like ain't no ants bust about it. I don't even finna cut my shit, they threw me in the hole like for like a week or two. It was like May 11, 2018, when I went to the joint and I cut my head, bro. I went to the hole for like a week. I ain't cut my shit, hell no, my shit too long, bro. And when they tell me when to let me out the hole, I'm like, damn, what the fuck? CO came back there like, man, you ready today? Like my seven day, eight day in the hole. Fuck it, it's too hot in this bitch. I'm gone. Went to the bar shop, cut my shit. They put me in regular gym, uh, population with the other inmates and shit. Huh? Hell no, that's it. It was bogus just to see my shit hit the floor. Like long my shit was, I'm thin. But shit, like it is what it is, bro. I gotta get back, full new grade. How, how long have you had grown them out for it during so uh, before they got? Before I cut my hair, I don't got grown shit. Probably like eight years. Eight years, my shit was long as hell. Like, I ain't even two blocks no more, like, without my dreads. I ain't even two blocks. I'm trying to get back to the two blocks, bro. That one, I'm shorty wrong right now, bro. I ain't even two blocks without my dreads, bro. For real. <laughs> what are your top five uh, hardest artists out of Chicago right now? Top five artists out of Chicago? Like, new upcoming or just, like, artist period? Artist period. Out of, just out of Chicago. Out of Chicago. Have, have had, like, the most impact or... Or like it could be like the that had had the most impact or right, the most ones that you just like fuck with the most. Fuck with the most. Yeah. If I if I fuck with the most out of the rack, Smirk, you already know that. Her, G Baby. Shit, that's street. Shit. Uh I don't know, man. It's it's a lot of niggas that's rapping that though for it's a lot of like with no her. But my first one was Dirt, Her. G baby, like he very, very talented, bro. Like, my little brother, like he gonna go crazy. Who else, man? man it's, I don't know, man. It ain't really too many artists I really fuck with, fuck with from the city, like that's that, and that's only three. Shit, myself and shit. Who else, man? R. P. Fredo or some shit, man. You know, only motherfucker. A lot of these rappers from Chicago really be rapping, but. Ain't dang really treacherous though, you know what I'm saying?